Motorola's solution for a desktop experience is called Motorola Ready 4. It's available on some of their devices, and depending on which device you get, you may get a slightly different experience. Recently, I pushed out a video talking about the Razer Plus 2023, and of course, a lot of you guys were asking me what are the solutions that are available, because there's a little bit of confusion as some of the reviews that I've been putting out. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys a tutorial on all of the functions of Ready 4 on the Razer Plus 2023, and I want to compare it to the Edge Plus 2023 that came out not that long ago. And the reason behind that is Ready 4 isn't always the same on the device, well, depending on the device that you get from Moto. Uh, just conversely, this is also available, obviously, on the international model of the Razer Plus, uh, which is the uh, Razer 40 Ultra. So that was also available there. So definitely very nice. This is TK. Let's talk Motorola Ready 4. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So in front of us, we have both devices. This is the Razer Plus 2023, a brand new device. Of course, make sure you check out that video for that, reviewing all of the cool features of this. This feature is ready for, as well as the Edge Plus 2023, as well, features ready for, and 2022 also features it as well. I will say that the experience here on the Edge Plus 2023 is definitely more of a complete solution where all the functionalities of ready for are active. Here, we have a slightly different experience. And again, some of the things that you've seen in some of the videos that are out there talking about it, been referencing it primarily being available on wireless solution and to a certain point that actually is true it is available wirelessly but it also does feature a wired solution as long as you're using a desktop application made by Motorola called the ready for assistant without the ready for assistant this system will not be able to or this device will not be able to project a desktop experience and that's a very important function that you need to be aware of what I'm referring to is obviously the experience that kind of mimics here I can actually plug this into let's say a next star or something called like basically a laptop and this will automatically launch ready for which is conversely not available here so that's the biggest thing you want to be aware of although they both feature ready for they both feature a slightly different experience there both of these devices feature the functionality of being able to going directly into the notification panel and clicking on ready for once you do that it takes you directly into the ui now obviously i haven't connected to anything we're able to connect them both wired and wirelessly with a slight different caveat there the Ready 4 here on the Razer Plus does not require that uh, on every system that you install it, let's say if you connect it to a, a laptop, you don't need to have the Assistant or the Ready 4 Assistant installed. And what we have here on the basically what we have on the actual Razer Plus, you do need to have the application installed. Otherwise, this is not going to work unless you're doing it to a TV and display. So we're going to start off by talking obviously about the simplest solution and that's the ability of using it on a TV or a display. Now, the TV or display essentially is we're using something similar to basically a Miracast solution. You click it and as it has been pre-connected to other things that we have on the market or depending on what's available in your current home you'll be able to connect it for me i've used it on the tv here with my samsung 6 series uh, tv it's a 40 inch 4k display and you can also see here that it is uh, looking also on the next stock now it is bringing here an lg web os tv that's something that we have of course but the biggest thing that you'll notice is the ability of reconnecting to something you've paired with it before it is using miracast and the way you would do this on the tv is pretty much straightforward and the main thing about the tv functionality is pretty straightforward as long as your tv is connected to the same wireless network as your phone. When you turn it on, it will discover it and it will connect to it. The first time you do so, you do need to click the OK functionality on the TV. And at that point, your Ready4 solution is pretty much straightforward, ready to go. The display on your phone will become a mouse cursor. And the really cool thing on the Razer is that even the smaller display on the outside, be, it can actually also be used as an external mouse controller. So wireless connectivity, wireless mouse con uh, connection there. And of course, that the audio and the video will both play directly on your TV. And for the best solution, obviously, you want to be as close as possible to the internet connection as well as the TV. But overall, that's the solution that works on everything. And that is the wireless solution that we have on the Ready4 solution here. Both the Razer Plus and the Edge Plus support it. And that's going to be very simple and easy to do anywhere you are. Now, the second solution is where it gets a little bit different. We have multiple selections here to be able to connect to what we want to do. You can connect it via using Ready4 by turning on the instant hotspot. Uh, you can do it on web, uh, webcam, the functionality which allows us to use the cameras on this device as a webcam to whatever so uh, software that you're using, it's Skype, uh, WebEx or whatever file sharing, as well as the ability of using a desktop mode. Now, stream uh, stream apps, you're also able to configure that directly within the app on the desktop with the Ready4 Assistant and select which app you want. But as you can see here, I've connected both of these to my desktop PC. So from a wired solution, we're going to go ahead and demo the difference between the two when we're connecting into the PC. And it's pretty much a straightforward thing. Once you connect this to your system or to a computer, the process comes up where it usually comes up to you and says, you know, charging, file sharing or whatever. There's also a second section there for Ready4. 
You turn that on the phone, you plug it into the computer. The computer has to have the client installed and ready to pair. And at that point, you just give it a few seconds and it'll connect directly into the home solution. From there, you're able to launch the desktop experience. You're able to customize it. And of course, change the different functionality. You can share your internet connection over a wired uh, solution directly onto your PC. And one of the really nice things is that this also works on tablets. So if let's say you have a tablet that you're using this by connecting it over USB-C, you're able to share your internet connection directly with the system without having to turn on a hotspot. So it's a functional uh, solution that works on multiple levels. It does require the assistant and this is where it becomes a little bit different, where the Razer requires it and the Edge does not when we're talking about something like the next stock. And this is where, let's say you plug it in, let's say uh, to one of those, uh, you know, the portable uh, monitors that we can pick up, or even uh, let's say if you're plugging it in directly into a laptop. Now in my video review, I showed you guys how I was able to use the Ready4 solution with keyboard and mouse functionality directly on my next stock. Now, the next stock that I'm referring to is a 360 wireless next stock. It actually goes all the way to the outside. And the big benefit here is the ability of using a Miracast solution Solution. This obviously works with both DeX and Ready4. As long as you're able to broadcast your desktop experience using Miracast, this is going to work. Since there was no real way for me to use it the way the Edge does. The Edge, just you plug it in and it turns on Ready4. Everything kind of turns on. It works perfectly. But when we're wanting to do it with the, with the Razer, you don't get that because if you plug it in, nothing shows up. That's the functionality difference between the two and what you need to be aware of. So the way to make it work with this being a 360 wireless solution, I mirror casted the Ready4 solution to the display. And then using the wired connection that we typically would have had with the next stock, I connected the keyboard, the mouse, and the battery solution to charge up my phone as a over USB-C uh, accessory function. It's like no different than plugging in a keyboard directly to the USB-C. The phone recognizes the peripheral and it uses it right away. So with that functionality, I got ready for to work on the next stock for the display. And I also got the ability of using the headphone jack that's built into that because it does actually automatically connects via that USB-C, the keyboard, the mouse, and the battery. That means my phone is getting charged and it, I'm using it as if I'm using it via wire. So that was the solution that works there. And this is why I kept saying this was a wireless solution because at true, well, at the end of the day, I really never really, uh, I didn't really need to connect the keyboard and mouse. I could have just used the air mouse directly within the Razer and it would have worked perfectly fine. The audio would have come out and it would have been really nice. But this solution makes it portable. It makes it into a laptop solution, keeps it charged. I get the 5G, all of that stuff works great. And of course, input, of course, and headphone jack at the end of the day. So you get that more personal experience. So if you're looking to pick up a Motorola device that features Ready4, make sure to check out the website for Motorola for what compatibility and what features it does have. This is the big difference between the Razer and the Edge. The Edge is an all around all features of Ready4. The Razer does require a little bit of um, finicking and at least understanding what solution works. But at the end of the day, it's still super exciting to see a flip phone actually become a productivity phone, not just looking like a laptop, but actually functioning like a laptop experience. So this is TK. I hope you found this video helpful. Ready4 is an amazing feature. If you're thinking of picking up anything from Motorola, make sure that is one of the features that is on there. It is available typically on more of their high-end solutions. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm hoping I'm not wrong, I think that the more budget-friendly Razer will also feature the wireless solution of Ready4. Not sure as far as what all other, you know, wired combination or so on. Hopefully I'll get a chance to check that out, but I'll definitely share that with you once I have one. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I hope you have a great day.